100. Loving required 40. A good guide. In shot in the first leg. And it Larry seems Price. that Gary Second Anderson does bring first. the best Game out of Gerwin Price. Turbed. Oh, right there. 20. And returns the Gary favor. Anderson missed two on the wire like that on the double eight. Oh, this, oh, I was going to say this would hurt, but that's the end of that. 70. Gerwin Price has got to Where refocus. Missing three 20. clean at a double was his Achilles heel last night. He's missed three already here, four now. Big dart this for Gerwin Price. I know he's got a three nil lead. Great. That's a four nil lead. That's a massive dart. Since dart, it's that is Gary Anderson though. He can reel him off if he and you have to be wary of that if you're Gerwin Price. Yeah, well, of course, when, when things haven't been going your way in the Premier League, which they haven't for Gerwin Price, you always he was wary of the comeback, and yeah, there's one of the legs back. There's only a hold of throw. So it's double five. 80. Gary, you require These 80. are the sorts of chances that Gary hasn't really taken in this match. No, he hasn't. He needs this. This is just for a hold. That's, that was awkward. I thought he may have moved along there. How you require 10? So Price for a guaranteed point. And he's got the guaranteed play. point, but he now going the front has three first. breaks to throw. He's got Game plenty on. of opportunities to throw for this match. We need Get something like go. that 116 out he had. Needs this to prolong the match. Double 13. 55. To require no, 25. to wrap the match up for a 7-1 victory over Gary Anderson. Needs a double 12. Gerwin Price. And everything he dreamed about, Price has got done tonight is his great rival and adversary, Gary Anderson. He demolishes 7-1. to one. Well, Gurney hit that 180, which put him in control of the leg. But Aspinall's brilliant reply of the same score and then 140 has put him in control of this leg. Is he going to get a poke? At double 12. He is, he's and he gets it. Play. Now, is that going to be the catalyst? Is he going to go double double? Is he going to go? Okay, now he's going tops tops. Well, I, I don't like it. If he hits the 54, he then only gets one a double. If he hits the 60, he then has two at 38. Don't like that at all. Double two for four three. Nine. He's getting chances. Oh, no, you're the chances there again. again for Daryl Gurney and throwing the dart out the board in the previous visit as well I know he had to be aggressive but he should have been getting three at a double board management problems here got away with it 4-3 Gurney tops now if he can get a point right now he will be level on points with Rob Cross it's so all very edgy. And That's a bit of quality. The reaction from Daryl Gurney. The composure the under the, the utmost pressure. One of those columns right now. Oh dear. He's tightening up. That's better. Down for 19. He's hit the trouble as well. 122. Well tied it up from Daryl Gurney. Or can Nathan Aspinall go on and draw the match from here? And Nigel, I'll tell you what's important here as well is that. 77. And he set it up okay. But Gurney, with the open at 57, he can now take this 82 out without hitting a treble. He does not need a treble. 17 for tops for a 7 5 win. Hey, Huge moment for Daryl Gurney. Oh, Two yeah. wins on the trot here in Milton Keynes. Big, big dart for Rob Cross. Out for Smith here. Let's and he'll let off. And is this the chance Rob that Rob Cross needs? The bit of luck he needs just to breathe a bit of fire into his Premier League challenge. We see him do this. We saw him stare down double 16 and he couldn't convert. Can he do it with double eight? And he's not happy with that. Well, yeah. when you get chances like this and you're battling for survival, you've got to take them. The pressure's on. Nine score. That's why he's missing Nigel. The pressure is on. Well, you've been there, Mark, at the bottom of the table, although there was no elimination there.
could have done with elimination now. <laughs> could have ended it early for you, yeah. Tops. Michael Smith gets there. 3-0 lead. leads. Well, we've seen a 1-4-3 for Rob Cross, but Smith's going to be back for Tops. He needs to sort this finishing out. Michael, you require a photo. So there's the target. No problem that time and a scream of approval from Michael Smith. He knows how important that was. He knows he could have so easily been 4-1 up. Real pressure added from Rob Cross. Be careful here, Michael. No treble again. Rob, you require 150. Another one of those would do him nicely. Now, Rob Cross has done some good work there, he's just got to hope that Michael Smith require, doesn't take out this 86. Sorry, last ball was 130. Bit of a correction on the last score there. As Michael Smith, just got to stay focused, he knows 86. Got to give him that shot of the bullseye minimum, treble 18. He's going to get two at double 16. Just steadying himself, Michael Smith. I don't often see that from him. But it's worked, and there's the roll, Michael Smith, now has a 6-3 lead, guaranteed. So, if Rob Cross doesn't take this out, Smith's got double 16 for the match. 18 would leave tops. Big Dark coming in from Rob Cross, needs tops. This is a test of character. 37. Chance is here now for Michael Smith to claim a 7-3 victory. Well, he gets there in the end of the third down. Michael Smith, a 7-3 victory. 125. A good last start from Michael. Yeah, it was a slight deflection, but it should not have been anywhere near the left-hand side of that 60 bed. Glenn can do some damage here, you know, with a max. He can put MVG under all sorts of pressure. Oh, he's gone wayward as well. It's a battle of the 80 somethings. Well, 14 guard leg in this way. On a really cheap board when I'm assuming the dimensions are out. <laughs> They're not this evening, I assure you. 16. A bit of a surprising turn there from Glenn who had an opportunity in this leg to really get a hold of it against the throw but you go Michael doesn't lose, really use that to much advantage there does he? I think they're both trying too hard they do I think that they're trying to relax but it's it's difficult oh it's a bull though wait <laughs> it's a and bull a one six seven window. out of the blue Michael he requires he won okay now big moments coming up Working off it. 19. Well, that's a nervous start. That is a nervous 56. start. It was, there was not much composure there. And if you saw Michael straight after he released it, he then shook his arm out as if to say, come on, you're not working for me. His tops working for Glenn Durrant. He yes, it is. It's 4-2. Start. Other than that, it's all pretty robotic. Now, I like the way he follows in the 20 bed, whether it's at the top or the bottom. He, it doesn't really trouble him. He, he's pretty good at yes. using what he has. Yes. 140. When you record 90. Just a 104 average before this 90 attempt for Glenn. Double 15. He's and only perfect dart. It, it was even just a little towards the outside. Who's the pressure on after that? Well, if he doesn't take the 170, he may not get another throw. Where did that go? Oh, my. And you require 68. So he's already taken out a 167, a 72, a 56, a 90. This is so does up. Double four. That is clinical. That is a brilliant win from Glenn Durant. Glenn Durant. And Michael Van Gogh were joint top on point. 36, Jeffrey require 143. I said earlier, Wayne, feel a little bit for Jermaine Watamena tomorrow, who doesn't get that experience of playing in the Ahoy, Ahoy Arena, which is 55. a fantastic experience Peter for any player, but particularly for the Dutch players. What, are you saying this is nothing like the, the atmosphere? Yeah. <laughs>
come on now we have <laughs> there's eight speakers <laughs> <and> <laughs> like a... <laughs> you, you don't dear Glenn you don't, don't look so you solid you just don't but Rob Cross is a slow player as well maybe he could just he's going to have to find something yeah of the old Rob Cross he's got to give, leave everything on the stage tomorrow night he's got one more game and possibly more but he's just got to give it everything it's out of his hands it could be that he wins and still gets eliminated Nine, but at least he can leave here with something yeah. 64. I agree. well his finishing has been superb the last three legs game that's on another the leg. Hit could have been a pop pop One round on 40, Pity you require 38. For the match. Yeah, yeah. That Shot. is clinical. 58% on doubles, 102 average. Peter Wright beats Jeffrey Desoir by seven legs to 